It's an organized criminal enterprise. organized criminal enterprise. This is just a short narrative from our perspective, our point of view. Now we said the political organization as a corporate for-profit government is the enterprise through which the public service authority by way of the police service commission and its individual actors or agents commits acts that are non de jure and unconstitutional, meaning unlawful de facto acts which constitutes crime. Again, from our perspective, our point of view, yeah, as we go along, we learn some more, make whatever amendment or corrections and continue to move forward step by step. So we say any political act that compels the free man or woman of this continental North American island, now called Jamaica, captured by the British crown, to submit against their will to an imaginary corporate jurisdiction of the organized political enterprise, which is contrary to the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights adapted and incorporated within Chapter 3 of the Jamaica Constitution as amended 2011, i.e. the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms, secured, not granted, by the Supreme Law of Jamaica making all secular rules, regulation, corporate policies, and or commercial codes void in its application to the free man or woman of said continental North American island, now called Jamaica, in their public, private, or personal capacities. And was said the deliberation or the deliberate misrepresentation by the corporate for-profit de facto government actors or agents which causes the man or woman of such misrepresentation to suffer damages, usually monetary losses, constitute fraud. The uncertified corporate policies enforced by policy enforcers, police, requires a contractual consent to be applicable to the free man or woman of this continental North American island. The police, the policy enforcers, actors, agents, police, again, actors slash agents slash police will arbitrarily make a legal determination initiating an unlawful seizure of property and arrest, false imprisonment and inducement to participate in commercial fraud by way of threat, duress, and coercion to forcibly 
consent to a notice of recognizance or own surety or own insurance bond, which is an access device used by the corporate for-profit de facto government agents to transfer money or currency from the accused private trust account secured by the surety or insurance bond. Person to forcibly gain consent. Gain consent or notice of recognizance or or own surety or own insurance bond which is an access device used by the corporate for profit de facto government agents to transfer money or currency from the accused private trust account secured by the I said surety or insurance bond. All are complicit, no exceptions. The court system is governed by the court administrative division, judiciary branch, and is in fact a part of the organized political corporate for profit government enterprise which include the executive and legislative branches. There is no separation between these state organs with the incorporation of the Uniform Commercial Codes usurping constitutional Uniform Commercial Codes usurping the constitutional laws and becoming a, a for-profit enterprise. It is all about the money, currency, labor, sweat, equity, servitude. Yeah, man, it is all about money, and then we have to know what constitutes money because we now have nothing substantive to deal with. It's more all promise. However, step by step, the people and we, you know, attain this level of information. The officer salute when we say the attorneys are make effort to share information and bring people up to par where the constitution is concerned. But on this side of the fence, this side of the issue, the lawful side of the issue, we are dear to the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And that is incorporated and adopted within all constitution, both national and it has a local or state. In other words, the human dignity as man and woman is supreme. And this is why you have to make sure when you deal with any corporate construct or entity create what is known as separation of these entities. Uh, the corporation can only interface or interact with other corporations. Not necessarily the living man. The living man can represent that corporation. And when we say represent is when we describe it, put it in writing. But the moment is present. Is just that present. So an attorney will never express this kind of sentimental information as we are bring forward here. Why? Because it will conflict their interests. When you say an attorney gets sanctions by 
his organization or his superiors, then that's a private club matter. Yeah, even though it's being expressed publicly. Because you are an attorney, bar member attorney in Jamaica, bar association member, then you are subjected to the rules of that legal society. Yeah. So when you talk about freedom of speech in your personal capacity, yes, but not in your public or professional capacity, you're, you're restricted in that area. So once he's a bar member, then can tell you, say, boy, you're out of order and suspend you and ban you or take away your license to play inside their sandlot, inside their arena as member of their club. So the bar member attorney will always bring information, but they will always be mindful of their superior or British Accreditation Registry that they in set pledge allegiance to. That's our business out here. This is why attorneys make so much money. Because it's a legal process, legal game. It has nothing to do with law. When you talk about law, it's a fit maintained by the constitution and we say the bill of rights the universal declaration of the bill of rights adapted and incorporated in the charter chapter 3 of the jamaica constitution the charter of fundamental rights and freedom clearly states that no organ of any state agencies, no branch or divisions, neither the executive, neither the legislative, nor the, the judiciary shall make no act to infringe, abrogate, or abridge the inherent dignity of the man and woman of this island. It's that Clean and simple. So the moment we are being victimized by a political organization operating as a corporate for profit government, which is an enterprise. You know, or the enterprise through which these individual actors or agents commit criminal activities, basically. So I'm quite sure absolutely no attorney will express this kind of clarity and truth. Yeah, man. If the Supreme Court, who is a judiciary with the chief judge, Sir Spikes, Sir Sykes, and you know, Justice Bats and all these other judges, Chester Crooks and Sir Maxwell and you know all of these judges. They are complicit because they are aware of what is going on because they are making a plethora of money doing business or trading in human resource or perpetrating involuntary servitude with amounts to slavery. And why is that? Because the people, the populace who are being administrate, administrated or governed lack this level of information. 
totally unaware of what goes on behind the scenes. Yeah, so it's actually a theater. Yeah, with all different kind of actors. Yeah, slash agents. So for my common people, clarity. Yeah, grassroots clarity. So even some of you attorneys get in line. But now when we bring this info information forward from that time till now, this is when, you know, we have the attorneys come forward very popular with the big platform. And I salute it. But I know there's conflict of interest. I know that. Uh, you can't present this kind of information. Uh, you like the privileged treatment that these bar attorneys, you know, get. And these bar attorneys like to face the populace. Yeah, man. This is why criminality is so rampant. The criminal have a lot of money, so as them go in and get bail, walk out, and it's a whole long drawn out process where the attorney get a plethora of money and share it amongst his group members. Conflict of interest right around. And the people, who I call the common people, suffer. But the people, like I said, we are uncommon. It can only be uncommon when you are present the uncommon information. Not when you are, you know, it has a commercially structured or set up. You know what I mean? Where you spread out, you know, with slave legacy. That's when you have Braga say, you know, we are not common people. No, man. You are only uncommon because of the material, commercial, you know, say, assets where you may claim. But without the esoteric knowledge, you're just as drifting as all the others, lost out there at sea. Most of the time, totally unwilling to appreciate new perspective. So again, people, short and simple. Look around, do your own basic research. See who and what is the organized criminal enterprise and then research the RICO Act and see if it applies to political parties. Don't take my word for it. I'm quite sure these attorney now go link I to say how can we present such a suit where not just the common agents or actors but the principal should be held liable so again salute to the free people out there and salute to the truth seekers out there and salute the way American Indians, the American Indians, what am I call West Indians? Yeah, what we say, Awa Indians, these free people. Salute out there. The brave may fall, but never yield. We say, bold and brave, firm and strong. Give thanks. Give thanks. Great uprising by way of truth. Yeah, man. Certification of facts. Validate 
a statement of claim. Yeah, let's see that document duly signed and sealed. Make it a certification or a certificate of fact. So when a common constable present a witness statement that is uncertified, perpetrating fraud upon that court. Simple. Let's learn, attorney. Don't keep the information crossway and confuse the people. Yeah, man. And a self, you know, promotion or purification. Teach the people. Teach the people the truth. Teach them correctly out there. Let them know what is an attorney. And the true legal definition of an attorney. That's where you're supposed to start. And when you start that way, then we can say, yeah, my step with truth. Salute.